So hello everyone, it's your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna get into brands I only check for when they're on sale, volume one. So um I decided <laughs> that it would be fun to see, like, you know, and I know it, I feel like everyone is like this because I was um watching Lauren May Beauty and she was talking about how she didn't like to pay regular price. I don't either. I do it a lot of time to get the review up so that you all can make a decision on it, and then if you're gonna wait to the sale or whatever, then fine. But um I thought it'd be fun to show you some of the brands that I don't like to pay full price when I only buy stuff from them when it's on sale. Like, if it's full price, I don't want it, I don't buy it, I'm not checking for you. Have a great day and be blessed. Scoot it on over there. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to show you eyeshadow palettes from all of these brands. But, um, some of the brands, like, I'm not checking for, like, anything from the brand unless it's on sale. And I should probably mention that. But, um... I'm probably not going to know me. I'm going to focus more on the eyeshadows. But this majority of eyeshadow palettes, like, anyway. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with the luxury. Then we're going to go to the high end. And then, we'll go to the last little, like, runoff pieces. But it's mainly, like, high end and luxury. Anyway, I'll start off with one. I feel like you won't be surprised about it at all. Because I always talk about how I don't think this brand is worth the regular price that they charge. And it is, of course, Tom Ford. I'm not paying full price for anything Tom Ford. I don't care what it is. He's not getting my full price coin. It's not happening. It's on sale. I'll buy it. Otherwise, Tom can keep it. Thank you so much. I just feel like he's grossly overpriced and I'm not here for it. So, this is Soleil Neige. Um, I forgot what season of Soleil Neige this is because I think they have a couple of them named Soleil Neige. But they're like different tones and all that type of stuff. I don't know. I don't keep up with Tom Ford like that because I think it's grossly overpriced. But every once in a while when I find a quad for like a good deal, I'll go ahead and try it out. Because I mean, the sh some of them are okay and some of them aren't. I usually try to get the wet to dry like formula. So that way I can wet it and it'll be a little bit more sparkly. But he has the more of that sophisticated eyeshadow look on. And we know I'm not about that life. I'm trying to sparkle. I'm trying to shine. I'm trying to have Instagram eyes in real life. And he is not providing me with what I need. So that's why he only gets my coin when it's on sale. Otherwise, kick rocks to the left, to the left. All of you know. No. Keep it, Tom. Keep it. Next, I have Charlotte Tilbury. So her eyeshadows to me are the same as Tom Ford. Where it's like I don't... You know, I don't want sophisticated shimmer. I want shine. I want sparkle. I want bam pow in your face. And she doesn't provide that. So that's another reason I only try to buy her when she's on sale. Now her powders, I will, like her face products, I will consider buying at a regular price. Because I know her powders are really good. Her foundation was okay. I haven't tried her concealer or like the magic powder or whatever. I'm scared to try the magic powder just because the magic cream broke my face out. I had like huge cystic under the skin acne bumps and I was like, no, we're not doing it. This is disrespectful. But yeah, like see, this isn't my vibe at all. And as you can see, my pan is trying to fall out. Or is that just the eyeshadow trying to come out of the pan? Oh, I'm sorry, the whole eyeshadow came out of the pan. And mind you, this is a $75 palette, so nothing should be sliding out of the pan. But here, this shade is trying to slide out the pan when I was trying to show it to you. The disrespect. See, that's why you don't pay full price. Because shit shouldn't be falling out of here. And this is a $75 palette. Like, I'm sorry. No. Anyway, um, this is just too soft and sophisticated for my liking. So, as a general rule, I try to buy her stuff when it's on sale. Unless it's something I'm going to review. I tried to give her a fighting chance by buying this one at regular price. But this showed me I don't need to be bothered. Fun fact. I heard Charlotte Tilbury curated all the Tom Ford eyeshadow. Which explains why both of them are in this video. And I don't like either one. Random side note. Anyway, I only buy those during sales of course the last well i only have two luxury brands left and i don't know if you consider this other one luxury but the one about to sh um show i feel like most people consider it luxury anyway this is linda hallberg i don't buy linda hallberg at regular price i mean i don't buy linda hallberg at all anymore i told you all when the black lives matter movement how i felt like she mishandled it and then turned off the comment sections when um she took her forever to finally respond to the situation let me show you what the inside of the palette looks like while i'm talking about all this and plus i feel like a lot of her shades are really similar to the shades you get Natasha Denona and um Pat McGrath palette store. It's like if I can get them other people's palettes, this set here was like 50 bucks. It's like I can buy mothers for like a few more dollars and get the same quality. And this is like cheap cardboard packaging, which, like I said, I love to mention how nobody mentions that. But if mother had any type of low quality package, somebody has something to say. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, I. I wasn't that impressed with this. I mean, the shimmers are nice. This is, like, the best shade in here. But this just reminds me of one from Mother's Special Shade. So, it's, like, $50 for that when I can just stick with a brand I know and love and know is gonna, you know, like, 
right for me because we're the same color um yeah i'm gonna just stick to that but i have only bought her stuff when it was on sale like i got the um green one i forgot what you call enchanted mysteries 2 or something like that i think um but those are only two things i own and i wasn't like super impressed to the point where i would buy any more so if i was going to buy some more though it would only be on sale and it usually goes on sale on beauty bay pretty often so if you're interested in buying it on sale you can check for it on beauty bay um last one i have to talk about like i said i don't know do you all consider mark jacobs luxury or not i mean i personally consider him high end but since he had makes handbags and a whole bunch of other stuff that people consider luxury i just decide to put him in there anyway i only try to buy his stuff when it's on sale i bought this during the holiday because it was early access to get a review up for you all just in case you wanted it but i wasn't super impressed or super excited about this palette and any other time i buy mark jacobs stuff i only buy when it's on sale when it comes to um eyeshadows now when it comes to his face products i'm more inclined to buy them at regular price like i bought the lady highlighter at regular price and i think i bought the bronzer at regular price so i'm more inclined to buy his face things at regular price but his eyeshadow palettes absolutely not because it's like you don't get enough colors to do anything like as you can see like i can't use this color this color was barely light enough and then it's a whole bunch of berry tones which we know is not really my thing as i sit up here with berry tones on but i was taking ig pictures for next week, I mean for the week after next, I'm trying to get ahead since I don't have any Instagram content, I mean YouTube content I needed to film. But I randomly decided to film this video, so here we are. Um, oh crap, I forgot, I do have one more luxury brand. My bad, I don't ever really use this or check for it, which is probably why. And I don't check for this brand anymore. But anyway, this is Scott Barnes, the Color Bomb palette. Of course, y'all know I wouldn't buy in this natural one because it's quite boring. Um... That's what it looks like on the inside. To me, this one is kind of boring, too, though. It only has a few little pops of color and still has way too many neutrals for my personal opinion. It's like, you already made a whole neutral palette. Why do I need these two, like, rolls of, like, sets of wannabe neutral section here? It's supposed to be a color bomb. I want to see lots of color, not maybe two and a half rolls of color and the rest of it. It's like neutral shades. So, that alone turned me off. Then I didn't think the formula was as great as ever. I feel like everyone tries to make it to be for the price point it is. I mean, I think it's kind of high for, um... The price point it is, aside from the fact that, you know, everybody else, I feel like, for general rules, made in Italy, and this is made in China, and then you think you should be able to charge Pat McGrath's prices are close to it. It's like, no, this palette was not worth it, in my personal opinion. And I did buy it on sale, because, like I said, I wouldn't buy Scott Barnes stuff at regular price. Aside from the fact that he's a Trump supporter, so he will not be getting any more of my coins. You will not be donating to Donald Trump's new campaign coming in 20, whatever it's going to be, because um, you won't be using my coins. You can use the other makeup, beauty, luxury, gurus coins. You will not be using mine. So, that's the brand I only check for on sale, but I don't rock with um, him like that. So, now let's get on to some other brands. So, I guess um, this, uh, um, these other two brands, again, I feel like won't be a surprise because it's like I don't really talk about these brands so much. One of them I actually do really like is just I know a lot of people don't really talk about it. A lot of people don't really vibe with the brand because they had a lot of controversies over years with the um, owner having issues and doing a whole bunch of shady things. So... I feel like you should know. I'm talking about Lime Crime. I actually really like Lime Crime's products. I think they make great products, but they um had all those things with the Dear Doe lady that was the owner doing a whole bunch of shady stuff like when people bought from their website and she didn't tell everybody that they got hacked and people's information could have been lost and they didn't know anything about it. Like, all that was going on. So, it's just like, I don't rock with her for that reason alone. And for a long time, I wouldn't, like, buy or feature their stuff even though I liked it just because of that. But I only buy their stuff when it's on sale because they had all those issues and they're trying to build back up again. I know they're always going to have a sale. Like, right now, while I'm doing this video, they had up to 75% off on some stuff. So, I was going to get that new palette that they had, but they didn't have, like, the green bluish purple one because i wanted to compare it to the main stage palette from um la girl because i feel like it would be a good dupe situation and then we can see how it works it's 30 dollars in the la girl one i think it's like 15.99 so i feel like it would be a great you know mashup or whatever to um do a battle of the and see how they worked but that one was out of stock they only had the other one which is actually really similar to another um palette from LA Girl that's similar to the VIP palette. So I'm thinking about still buying it while it's on sale for the $15 and us just comparing those two because I can get the one I really want. But their quality of their stuff is really nice and I really like it. It's just, since I know it's always going to be on sale after a little while, I just wait and then, you know, you get it at a discount. So this is a brand I actually would buy from regular price depending on what the regular price is. It's just because I know it's always going to be on sale. I don't spend the regular coin. Why should I? Okay, y'all, so the next brand I have to talk about, again, I feel like you won't be surprised. I made a whole video about why I don't necessarily like this brand, and it is Urban Decay. So, 
this is the Born to Run palette. Um, I didn't buy this for regular price. I think I got it when they had a 50% off sale on it because they are always having 50% sales off on their palettes. Now, again, with their complexion products, I will buy those at regular price. But like eyeshadow palettes, I will never buy at regular price from Urban Decay because they're always going on sale. Like right now, they have the ultraviolet one on sale for 50% off. I had been wanting to try it for a while and put it with the um, cherry one that I had got for 50% off. But um, I think I ended up putting up the cherry one up for sale because it took them so long to put the violet one on sale. But it's like we all knew it was going to be on sale eventually because their stuff is always going on sale. Like if Urban Decay stuff doesn't go on sale, I'm dying of shock. Like on their website that Stoned Vibes palette is on sale for 50% off right now too. I didn't personally like the shimmers in that one. I felt like they were quite lackluster for the price point that they were charging everybody. So I was just like... Glad I got the miniature size one and I like decluttered that one and put it on my car just because I wasn't impressed. But Urban Decay palettes are the stuff I'm just never buying full price. Like there's no reason to buy Urban Decay palette at full price. They're always going to go on sale for 50% off because not enough people are checking for them anymore because they're not doing anything unique and interesting and colorful. Like right now I saw somebody selling the new palette that they have the Wild Wild West one on Poshmark for like 29 bucks because it's like nobody's checking for this brand at all. I feel horrible saying that, but at the same time, it's like, you're not doing anything fun and unique and colorful like you used to when new brands are popping out every five minutes of every day. There's no reason for me to check for you and pay you $50 for this palette when I know it's eventually going to go on sale for $24.50. So, for that reason alone, I don't ever buy Urban Decay palettes at full price. Like I said, their face products, I'd be more inclined to buy at full price, but it's like, I'll never buy Urban Decay palette for full price because there's no point. It's going to go on sale, just like the Lime Crime we just talked about. The stuff is going to go on sale. There's no reason me giving you my full coin like no we're not doing it so the next brand i have to talk about is kvd v sorry kvd beauty i was about to say kvd vegan but they changed it back to kvd beauty so i don't buy stuff from them for full price as a general rule however their foundations i will buy that at full price because i feel like they do complexion really well but as far as eyeshadow palettes go they're not unique and fun anymore so it's like i don't want to give you full price for them so like I told you all, this video is going to be mainly focused on eyeshadow palettes and I don't want to pay full price. Like, right now this is on sale at Sephora Inside JCPenney's for $11.75. So I thought that was an exceptional deal. I think I got mine for 50% off from Sephora and ordered it off the Sephora website and got it delivered to me. But it's a gorgeous color story. I mean, it's a nice palette. I like, um, especially the deeper tones over here, but it's like, I wouldn't pay full price for this because it's like, because... The brand's reputation and owner dragged it to the ground before she left. It's like, I know I can get it for less, so why should I pay them full price when I don't have to? The only thing I've paid full price from them for recently is the, um, good, was it the good apple skin perfecting balm foundation? And that video is actually uploading right now, so hopefully it gets done at 12 o'clock like it's supposed to. I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't, you'll see something else, and hopefully you'll see that tomorrow and something else like Tuesday, because I got the Patrick Ta, um chisel set and that's something that you all will see this week as well i don't know when the hell you're gonna see what we're talking about now but you know i figured it'd be fun to do it now hopefully you'll see it like next week or something i don't know i have a complexion corner that i need to edit and put up too so i got a whole bunch of stuff going on next i'll just do both of these together we got the um jenner's and the kardashian so of course i mean who paying full price when they charging these expensive prices this is like the last pal i bought from her and i think this one when she had a 30 percent off sale on her website but i thought the color combination of this was actually really unique and nice she has like nice plum mauve shades like i have on my lid right now but she mixed it up with some pops of olive greens and whatnot so it's like nice pinks and greens and i actually want to do an eye look with the greens and the pinks together i actually did one yesterday though so it's like i I can clearly do it with other things, but that was what was unique to me about this palette. The fact that they added pops of green instead of just having, you know, plain old, um, a whole bunch of pinky moths. Which is my setting and just fine, but, I mean, the formula of this is just mediocre for the price point they're charging. So it's like, no way I would ever pay full price for a Kylie Cosmetics palette. Her brand isn't even really popping that much anymore ever since they sold it. And I don't know if she saw that it was coming, that it was going to go lower down, and that's why she sold the majority of it or whatnot. But I haven't bought anything since this, and this was like her birthday palette. 20, what was it, 2020? 2019? Something like that? I don't know how long ago it was, but I, I'm not checking for them at all. Same thing with, um... KKW Beauty, it's like I don't, I'm not really checking for this just because it's like, you know, her formula is okay, it's better than Kylie's, but it's like it's just one step above Kylie's, and it's like Kylie's is only one step above ColourPop, so it's like if I really want these type of tones, can I just buy a ColourPop palette and do the same? This is the, um, I think this was her birthday palette. I think that's what it was, I don't know. I wanted to try the purples in it, but I didn't buy this at full price. I bought this off somebody on 
Poshmark for like 24 bucks just because I was like, you're not getting my money anymore after I had the incident. I have the Mario palette. If you all remember, um, my palette came damaged. I emailed their customer service and they never responded like to this day I didn't get a response so I was like I'm not buying anything else from you I did want to try the purples I bought it off somebody on Poshmark so she didn't get any of my coin and I would only buy from her on sale but I'm not buying from her at all anymore and, and Kylie either just because it's like the hype is died down you all don't really care about it I make sometimes I buy stuff just to make reviews for you and if you don't care I'm definitely not going to give them my money when I have to so that's it um Okay, so the next one I have, believe it or not, and I feel like um, it's because this brand's palettes are hard to store and then I got like a bad palette I didn't really like because of the coloring and how it faded to a different color when you put it on the eyes and I wouldn't like that whole situation. So I feel like you should know what brand I'm talking about. This is Glam Light. I only buy Glam Light palettes on sale. I don't buy them at regular price. So this is the... Veggie Lovers Pizza Palette. And of course, you know why I got this. Look at these gorgeous greens in here. So, I like their monochromatic palettes and I like their more neutral palettes. I seem to not really like their colorful palettes. Or mainly, obviously, I just don't like the Ice Cream Dream Palette. Like, I think that palette is terrible. I hate that palette. The Cake Palette is fine. All the other palettes I own from this fine. It's just I hate the Ice Cream Dream Palette. I don't know what it is about the formula of that one. I feel like it's different than all the other ones and it does not perform the same and I do not like it. But anyway, I only buy their stuff on um, sale. I would never buy a full price because I feel like they're always having a sale like they just had two thirty um percent off sales within the last like three months from each other so it's like why buy a full price when I don't have to so I like um most of their products I only got like one dud palette and the quality is fine it's just I don't really get views from those videos which means to me that you all don't care about them and I try to buy stuff that's more for the content than necessarily what I personally like sometimes so that's another reason I'll try to only check for these some of these brands when they're on sale because it's like you don't generally care about that you care about the Pat McGrath you care about the Natasha Denona and stuff like that which is stuff that I like too and I'd rather invest my money in stuff I like and want to review as opposed to just getting it to review and hoping that you all want to see that content so that's another reason some of these are in here so the last brand I have is made by Mitchell so I ended up getting these at a 40% off sale I meant to buy them during his 40% off box sale last year when the brand first came out but I ended up getting mine this year when he had a 40% off sale recently so I have both of them I just have head in the clouds here and feet on the ground is at my house because that's the color store I prefer so my thing is with him. So it's not anything having to do with his quality or anything like that. Because the quality of these palettes is really nice. I wasn't necessarily a fan of this color story. My issue is because the palette is so expensive and then I have to wait for it to ship from a foreign country. It costs quite a bit because this palette and the other palette ended up costing me $100 just to get here. And that was on sale. So imagine how much it would have cost if I had bought it at a regular price. So that's my issue with buying his stuff at full price. It has nothing to do with the quality of his stuff. It has to do with the fact that since it's coming from so far away and I have to pay so much for the palette and then I have to turn around and pay so much for the shipping, it's not necessarily economically um, best for me and my wallet. So I'm kind of just like, yeah, no, I don't want to buy it at full price. So it has nothing to do with his quality because his quality is nice as you'll see in the videos that are going up this week about this palette and the feet on the ground palette it's just more of it's expensive and I have to think about what you all want to see as opposed to what I necessarily want to try so that's it those are the palettes from brands that I only buy when it's on sale I think we could do a part two and then just show you all the affordable brands that I only buy when they're on sale because it's affordable brands I only buy when they're on sale too even though they are affordable and I figure you might be interested in that. Like, well, what are you not checking for when it's not on sale, even if it's an affordable brand? Even though you can always use that coupon at Ulta to get a deal, or you can always go to CVS. I need to do another CVS haul-in video where I break down the stuff a little better, like I promised you all. But I haven't been to a CVS in like two weeks, believe it or not. So, yeah. But anyway, um, those are my things. Let me know. Do you have brands like that where you only buy from them when they're on sale? And you like, if it's not on sale, I don't want it. I'm not checking for you. You don't exist. La, 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 la. I can't hear you type of it because that's how I feel about these brands. So I'm interested to see what, how you all feel about certain brands. If you agree with the brands that I pick, like, are y'all like, I'm not buying Lime Crime less on sale or I'm not buying Urban Decay Palace because they always 50% off. Like, let me know. I'm, I, I'm nosy and I want to know too. Just like you want to know what I thought, I want to know what you think. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.